Okay, my motto, simplicity is divinity. That, that combined with nothing popular is true, and nothing true is popular. I've got a thousand mottos like that. Ancient wisdom is the best wisdom. Um, people ask me a lot of tips and tricks on how to improve their photography greatly. And uh, we all know about autofocus points, uh, whether we use multi-point autofocus or we use single-point autofocus. Well, you need to stick it in your head that you need to start, uh, at least in training, not on the important stuff, you know, where, um, you know, the shot has come and gone and you've lost it, but in practice, and uh, you'll get really good at this. Really, really damn good. Uh, remember that movie uh, where the uh, Jamaican bobsled team they were uh, first runners in the way they, uh, most of bobsledding is running. And, uh, you know, if you're, uh, you know, just, if you're so used to just letting your camera take over, the, every camera, no matter how expensive it is, is a stupid POS. Most expensive to the cheapest and, and backwards, you know, your camera is a dumb, is a dumb shit, dumb shit. Um, you need to start thinking uh, in terms not only of a single point autofocus, but you also have to register in your brain for improving your photographic exposure skills of single point exposure. And that means spot metering! Spot metering! Um, obviously getting out of program mode and going after priority or uh, shutter priority or manual mode. Um, you know, there are obviously, you know, countless endless valid reasons for any true professional to use a program mode for action and let the camera make the decision on the exposure. And they have it in aperture priority or shutter priority and uh, the camera will matrix metering and, uh, you know, the program mode is perfectly valid for that. But for you to get your skills better, you're going to have to start thinking not only of single point autofocus and recompose the scene um, for the composition, but also spot metering. So damn important. Now, here's one thing that confuses people when they go on a photo shoot or they go somewhere. They don't know what to meter for or they only see what their eyeballs can see. I've talked about this endlessly. Throw your damn camera in spot metering, okay? And go around the same scene, spot metering, okay? Remember, you can reprogram your function button, your preview button, and uh, your function button for spot metering. And not only that, if you want to recompose, obviously it's going to recompose to whatever it's pointed at. So, spot meter lock and shoot, okay? Spot, lock and shoot. Spot, lock and shoot. Remember that in your head, okay? Maybe you should write it down. Spot, lock and shoot. Spot meter, lock that exposure, recompose as necessary, shoot. Spot, lock, shoot. Spot, lock, shoot. You got it? You got it? Good. Um, find the midpoint, find uh, meter for uh, start to, in practicing out in the field, the non-important stuff that, you know, isn't going anywhere. Kind of like the graveyard shots I did uh, yesterday where I got my fisheye lens stolen out of my car while I was uh, in the gigantic uh, cemetery, which of course pissed me off because I had to order a thousand dollar new lens. Um, that's off topic though. <laughs> um, stuff that you can actually shoot again isn't going to go anywhere, so you haven't missed a shot. You're experimenting, you're practicing, you're actually expanding and stretching your legs uh, photographically to understand the compositional exposure of the scene. Start spot metering and start testing. What, what if I spot meter for this highlight of this composition? Um, okay, that didn't work out. What if I spot meter for here? Oh my god, that looks a lot better. Well, that gives me an idea. What if I actually spot meter and lock in my exposure and recompose and shoot? If you actually do that uh, while you're out shooting, you know, just farting around out of the pier, the dock, the woods, shooting your kitty cat, you know, whatever the hell it is you want to do, you know, uh, shooting nudies or boudoir or uh, <laughs> whatever it is that you want to shoot, start thinking about, uh, get it in your head that uh, uh, you single point autofocus, but also get it in your head a single point exposure. And what I mean is spot metering, okay, spot metering. Um, if you can actually train yourself to do that, you will automatically, within your head, start to see not what is in front of your eyes, but what is potentially there. Well, if I take a picture of this shot and I have it on matrix metering, my camera is a dumb, a dumb fook, and it's just going to make a, you know, a pasty gray image like a toothpaste. But I'm in the spot meter, and I'm going to expose for this little highlight. Okay, and then I'm going to lock in my exposure, or I'm just going to have it there if I don't have to recompose, and then I'm going to click the shutter, and oh my god, it's this fascinating shot! You know, most of the shot's dark, but it's mysterious, and it's the composition one. You will start to see, I, I crap you not, you will start to see 
not what is in front of your eyeballs, but what is potentially there due to your mastery of exposure. Okay? They talk about getting out of pussy mode, uh, i.e. program mode, <laughs> and using uh, after priority, shared priority, or manual. Program mode, uh, full program mode, obviously has its place. I'm never saying don't use it. Obviously, it's there for a reason. You know, it's got many reasons for using it. Um, but you're also going to have to start spot metering. And uh, you're going to think, oh, well, this is tedious. Well, nothing will train you quicker. I mean, if you can go to photography school, you can read all the, the effing photo magazines you want. Useless. The most useful tool you've got is to throw your camera in spot meter, reprogram your uh, your uh, front buttons here for uh, like spot meter, auto exposure lock. Of course, you can use the back button for auto exposure lock and auto focus lock, but just set it right here: spot meter, uh, auto uh, exposure lock, and then shoot. And then test what your scene is, and you'll start to see what is there, and your photography will freaking improve overnight drastically. If I'm lying to you, I'm dying, and I guarantee you, nothing will teach you faster, better, quicker than you experimenting with spot metering and seeing what that does to your shots. And when you do that, you'll be exercising the compositional muscle between your ears, called your frigging brain, because that's where your real camera is. It's not right here, it's not right here, it's between your frigging ears. Okay, that's where your camera is. Is all these cameras, doesn't matter how expensive they are, they're all stupid pieces of crap. They don't know anything about art. They don't know jack crap about exposure. They don't know jack crap about composition. Well, yeah, it knows that exposure at matrix meter. <laughs> A camera is designed, the most expensive of them to the cheapest of them, is designed to turn everything into gray paste. Okay? You matrix metering, so your camera is going to crap out gray paste. It's just that, just, just what this. If you don't understand that, you're never gonna get it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Okay. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Go tell me jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you most happy. Another video from the crazy, tattooed, bald, angry, fat freak. Uh, I mean, the angry photographer. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye. I need. Some